the one. Slight pipe option. Slack packing. Angel Rest Hostel Office. There's the bunkhouse over here. That building is the shower bathroom. That place I stayed in last time had a private private room in the trailer. It wasn't very nice, but it was private. And there's like, I don't know, 15 bunks in this thing. All right, day one, we are off. This is Parisburg Cemetery Trailhead. Paris Cemetery, yeah. Somewhere around here is the cemetery, I guess. 7.1 miles. All right, I have a full pack and I have to admit after two days of driving in gloomy rainy weather it has been mentally tough it's like what am I doing but now that I'm on trail hopefully attitude adjustment and hopefully the weather won't be too bad although they're calling for scattered rain several days so I'm not looking forward to that but anyway Let's we'll see what happens. All right, been going pretty level. AT goes left and downhill. <laughs> That's going to be short lived because it's a big climb up to Rice Field Shelter. But we're going to go down right now. And it's a little bit muddy from all the rain. Not bad. There's enough rocks to hold you. All right, there's the Appalachian Trail White Blaze. This is easy right here, but we're gonna be going up. This is the New River. New River Bridge. All right. If this was, oh, it's a big plant of some kind. If this was on an island, I would think King Kong lived up at the top of this thing. I think that's where I'm going, but I'm not sure. I'm definitely going up and heading up now. Well, I remember watching other videos of people going north from Parisburg talk about this little section here. It's their dump. Well, luckily it's not blowing my way. I can't smell anything. All right, a couple of guys I met last night at the shelter. A guy right there is uh, from Scotland. When he talks, I really can't understand him hardly at all. Sean Connery. <laughs> These are all through hikers.
looks like these things are just coming into bloom. There's some little bitty ones. They're not really huge yet. I forgot what they're called. I'm three miles from Rice Field Shelter. And then at that point, I have to decide. It's gonna be probably 12.30. God, I hate to stop that early, but it kind of interrupts the logistics. And the other problem is, to, uh, I say we, there's uh, uh, weather, a lot of potential thunderstorms. So, if I go on, it would only be for maybe another mile and a half. And then I'd have to stay in the tent and potential thunderstorms. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide. I'll get to the shelter, have lunch, and then make a decision. All right. Coming on Clendenin Road. on somebody's property for 600 feet. I think we go straight across here. Put this up. All right, that's where I came from. This is Clendenin Road, Pocahontas Road, Jefferson National Forest. Oh, I see a white blaze down there. I also saw a little ground squirrel here. All right. Alright, I finally remember what these things are called. Pretty sure they're called mountain laurels. Alright, coming up on power line view. Alright. That's a good view. Ooh, this could be my water source. Let's see what we got. Well, there's a lot of water, but I don't think this is the one that's called the pipe spring. Go check my map. Sort of taking a break, but filtering some water. Gravity fed. And right there's a pipe. All right, I think we're coming out into the open where rice field shelter is supposed to be somewhere up here a ways yet maybe I'm not sure around the corner oh beautiful we're gonna be at the top of a mountain I don't know if we'll have much view it's starting to pick up 
a little sprinkle. Oh, if this was clear, it would be beautiful. It's pretty anyway. All right, and here's the shelter. Yay! And a group of people. All right, leaving the shelter. Made a decision. I was going to stay here, but man, it's only 1.10. Could have left earlier. I'm going to go. I've got one and a half miles to the next dispersed camping. That would knock off from the 12 I would have had to do tomorrow. And if I want to, I could go another six. I could go a total of six more. Man, that would be... Gosh, dang it. I'll see how I feel. They're, t they're talking about thunderstorms tonight. Look at this. This is Rice Field Shelter. It is be a great place to spend the night and catch a sunrise or something in the morning. Good news is it looks fairly clear right now. Wow. There's a little dispersed camping spot, but there's the shelter. Look at this. Oh, the fog is coming in. Got a clear shot here for just a second. This is pretty cool. You can see the next hill. Oh, the fog's coming in pretty fast. There's, you can see over there the, uh, the path. So that's where I'm going to be going up that path. Meanwhile, to the left, it's gorgeous. I just checked and I have five bars. I wonder why. <laughs> wow. Look at those propane tanks. All right. Tally ho. Okay, maybe not. Ah, I'm pretty sure that's Parisburg there, down in there somewhere. Some residential. We have some dark clouds coming in. Hopefully they stay off for a while. All right, I thought I'd mention why I went on from Rice Field Shelter. That was a 7.1 mile hike this morning. I, I didn't know when I would get away from my setting up the logistics. Um, since I was spending the night in a, uh, oh God, not a bed and breakfast. What is it? Oh well. Spent the night, I didn't know if I'd get away in time, plus I had to park the car. So I planned on, and it was way uphill. So it was very, very uh, hilly. And so I had no idea when I'd really get there. I got there, I think it was right around one, maybe a little bit four. So I would have had to, if I wanted to stay there, I'd stay there another seven hours. And uh, probably somebody would come there later on in the evening, but you never know. It's a beautiful place. I really intended to stay there. It's up on top of the hill, so it would have made a really nice place. Had a privy, which is a luxury out here. Next place I stay at won't have one. Um, but I decided to go on. Now, one of the problems is water. 
uh, from that shelter another one and a half miles there was a dispersed campsite that also had a spring down below so I figured well I'll go one and a half more miles see how I feel uh, I I had a lot of water already because of in case I stayed at rice field shelter but I ended up getting another filling I chugged a liter which they call uh, cameling up so that you've got plenty of plenty of uh, water in you and then filled up again so I've got mm, maybe a little under three liters somewhere around that and uh, so I decided there to keep going one and a half miles I felt good got water now the point is how far am I going to go well the next dispersed camping was a little over five miles and at the, I'm on a uh, I've already reached the peak of this uh, mountain now I'm pretty much on a ridge line a little up and down not much so it's real easy going I should have no problem getting to the next dispersed camping but there's no water on uh, the other part of my reasoning is that I have uh, I have a sandwich part of a sandwich left and I don't need to cook tonight so I, I really don't need water we'll uh We'll see, but I should be fine without water. Whoop. And then there's another another distance there's water. So I think I'm good tonight with these water. I got enough for coffee and I don't think I need to cook. So the water should be good. Logistics will all change now since I'm going way farther than I intended originally. That'll be interesting. I'll play with logistics tonight. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that had I had my friends with me when I hike, and not solo, I probably would have stayed there. We would have enjoyed taking our time, could have built a fire, smoked a cigar, cook, cooked food, whether we wanted to or not, and uh, it makes all the difference in the world being solo. When you're solo, you're like, well, let's see, do I want to sit here? And we'll make some progress. Uh, anyway, oh, there's another hiker that just passed me. So, I'm fine with my decision at this point. I think it's good. The other thing was weather. The weather hasn't been anything like it was predicted. It was calling for thunder showers, thunderstorms, rain, and it's um, there's some gray around now, but it's almost clear skies amazing that was another factor That's where I came from. This is a super high meadow. Been going up. I think we've kind of peaked at the moment, hopefully. Start going down or staying level for a while. Oh, let's see what this is. First notices. Construction site ahead. Please stay on the trail. Okie dokie. I plan on it. Well, in just a little ways up, I run into this. It looks like you're going to forces to stay on the trail which they didn't have to do that for me high pressure test in progress oh what the hell does that mean i got oh geez i'm on the right trail Still spitting just a tiny little bit of rain. You can see the clouds are dark around, but that looks pretty good. A good good view over there. That's amazing.
Ooh, I'll be darned. A male tree. Right. I've made it six miles past the uh, rice field shelter. All right, got another sign up here. About uh, five or ten minutes away from finding the campsite. Oh, we got a blue trail up here of some kind. Groundhog Trail, Sugar Camp Farm. Huh. Well, the dispersed camp, I just got to the dispersed campsite I was shooting for, and there's a guy there. And uh, there's really only about one. He, he was, his spot was a level spot. That was about it. And I looked and I said, it's only a half a mile up to this next dispersed camping. It looks better. We will see. Sounds better, but we will see. It's another half mile. I didn't really want to go another half mile. But that's about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. Depends on how many rocks I'm climbing around. All right. Half a mile to this tent site. That's where I'm going. It looks fairly level, but it's a little bit off. Not bad. Not as bad as the last place. I might even have a fire. We'll see. I just got set up in time. It was raining on me a little bit. Now it's coming down good. Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> so far, anyway. Hopefully, we'll stay dry. <laughs> 